He's called Rex, and he's Britain's first million-dollar bionic man. He comes complete with a lifelike face, a set of artificial organs and robotic limbs. But he's not for sale. He was built by robotics experts for a British TV documentary. Swiss psychologist Bertold Meyer, who was born without a left hand, has been trying out Rex's latest technology. So the first time I was able to flex my wrist uh, with that prosthetic limb, but I'd never been able to do that before. Of course, it was a bit frustrating to be told that not only is this technology not ready yet, but also when it becomes available, it'll be so expensive that it'll be completely out of question for me. I won't be able to afford it and my insurance won't pay for it. Mm. And that also highlights some of the ethical issues at stake when we look at technology like this. The technology is there and more and more will become available, but fewer and fewer people will be able to get it funded through their insurance companies. Rex also has an artificial pancreas, spleen and windpipe, along with a kidney which could soon be ready to replace the real thing. He even bleeds if injured. One of my personal favourites is the artificial blood that runs through these tubings. And because this is made of nanoparticles that are able to bind oxygen and give them off, just like real blood can do. But this is not a real blood, this is nanoparticles. Mm. And I thought that was absolutely science fiction. Rex is on display at London Science Museum, but it may not be long before many of his parts are being used for medical purposes, not just display.